Good morning, guys. Ah, uh, let me make sure I got everything turned off, which I think I do. I need to change something, but that is what it is. I hope y'all are having a great morning, and I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I'm going to try to keep this short. I've got my little list of, well, it just basically says keep it short, keep it simple, and keep it positive. Because what I've been feeling like I've been doing lately, and I am so sorry, I felt like I've been being a little negative and not meaning to be. I don't want to ever come across as uh, being negative um, when I'm talking to you guys. I want to always be encouraging and uplifting and all of the things. I've just been so darn busy and been tired. Uh, this week should be a little bit better. Um, good morning, Miss Trissa. Happy, happy Monday. Trissa is in the house. That is fantastic. So I think I want to just uh, not going to mess with the tech. The tech stuff can deal with itself. Okay. <laughs> Over the last couple of weeks, I have been super busy. And one thing that came to my mind, I guess, yesterday, um, it's a realization that I should have been thinking about before that I completely... I'm one of those people that I know I'm a workaholic. Always have been for as long as I can remember. I always do more than I actually should. I don't really take as much me time as I actually should just for mental stability. Um, which reminds me, I need to get a massage. Okay, that may seem like a splurge, um, but I used to be a massage therapist, and while I was going through my training, I learned that massage actually helps you stay sane. <laughs> we kind of need to get um, that, I don't know really what kind of state to explain it other than it's kind of a meditative state when you're getting a um, relaxation massage. It's just absolutely fantastic. And it's actually a good idea to get it about once a month just to kind of stay sane. And it's been since before COVID. Let's just put it that way. I have not gotten a massage in that long. And I absolutely love my friend um, Veronica. She does a great job. She has always helped me. And she is the one that actually inspired me to get my license for massage to begin with. And that was back. I've been going to her since probably the early 90s something like that and i got my license back in oh four oh three actually oh three and i haven't done it in years i still remember all the techniques and all of the things because it's kind of muscle memory and that is super awesome um just wanted to make sure that we don't go too far over i want to keep this like i said pretty short I do want to remind you guys, though, that you are super awesome. You guys saw the overlay that I had on here. It had a bunch of little uh, motivational quote things. I'm pulling up a copy just for me. To... Hello, Miss Yvette. How's the weather over there in Sa um, I'm saying the wrong place. Where are you from? <laughs> I think you're from somewhere warm. Uh, it's supposed to be warm here, but you know what? I'm, I'm cold. I've already turned on the heat. It is... 64 degrees outside and I know that that's not cold for a lot of you guys but this is kind of the time of year in Florida where uh, it's confusing let's just say that um, our sinuses don't know what to do the trees don't know what to do pollen falls it gets warm it gets cold the plants don't know what to do and it's basically everybody's all over the place yesterday it was Yesterday morning, it was nice and warm and shorts weather. By yesterday afternoon, it was a bit chilly. And then now I've got the heat on because I'm, and I'm wearing long pants and a sleeved shirt instead of sleeveless or anything uh, because I'm cold. I am cold. I do still plan on going for a walk this morning. That is one of the, I was right. It is San Diego. I am so excited. I actually remember something this morning. Anyway, um, I've realized over the last couple of weeks and it's where I should have realized it before because this has been building up for a while, that I'm overdoing it and I need to take some time for me. So that doesn't really mean that I'm gonna stay away from you guys because that is part of my 
my therapy, I guess, um, from when I first started doing crafting. I mean, why did you get started doing crafting? A lot of us, it's because we decided that, yeah, it's time for some me time and, and where I can do something that I'm doing it for me because um, I'm getting to release that creativity out of my brain, right? I'm able to release some of that creativity and I'm still doing for others because I can create a card special for someone and I can give that to them even if it takes like one, two, three hours to create the thing, I can give it to someone and I see that smile on their face and I know how much they appreciate it. Um, that also means that we have to take into consideration what our time is actually worth. So if you think about any of the cards that you've made special for someone, how much time you put in and how much you know, just kind of gauge it by how much you work at a job or at your last job and how much did you get paid per hour? How much did that card actually cost? Not including all of the supplies or the prep or any of that kind of stuff. Good morning, Miss Donna. Welcome, welcome, honey. Good morning. Happy to see you here. Anyway, um, that's kind of what's on my mind. This week, luckily, I don't have anything that's super urgent do, which is fantastic. I am planning on doing some um, live streaming over on Twitch and possibly doing like I did yesterday and just veg out with some Disney Dreamlight Valley. It kind of helped to unplug my brain because I was working all day yesterday on, and I need to work on some more today, but anyway, all day yesterday I was working on stuff having to do with the classes, getting everything behind the scenes, kind of the the website piece of it com completed for a couple of classes coming up, which you're probably seeing the little ads coming up about that. We do have the Cardmaker Success Summit coming up in like two weeks if you haven't already got your um, free tickets for that. I just realized I do not have a link to that down in the description. I didn't add that yet. I need to go ahead. That's okay. Start myself another little list of things that they're not big things, but I kind of need to get them done. I need to add the Card Maker Success Summit links to the top of all of my videos. And luckily there is an easy, fun tool to do that. So that whenever you're looking at any of my videos, you should see it down at the top of the description box. In the meantime, though, I'm going to go ahead and grab the link, put it into the live chat so that you guys have got it. Okay, that's the free one. Okay, and I did make it a kind of a prettier link than what a normal affiliate link looks like. So it's Debbie J's Crafting Corner backslash free card maker success summit. <laughs> so that's going to be the link for the card maker success summit for you to be able to get the your free ticket if you haven't already done so i would love for you to use my affiliate link so that would be uh, super awesome if you guys could help me out with that so i'm gonna keep my little post-it here so i can write down whatever else i think i need to do that i'm gonna forget i know me um, i probably need to adjust the camera too the only thing is when i have it up too high then i wind up blocking some of the screen it makes it harder for me to read but um i would love to know what you guys are working on or what rather scratch that what are you guys struggling with because i want you to remember how awesome you actually are and that was the reason for that overlay that I had on there. And can I add it to the screen? I think I can. Let me go ahead and switch that. So I want you to remember. Okay, I want you guys to remember how incredible you actually are because you are an amazing human. You can always start over if something messes up or you don't get it done in the time that you're wanting to get it done in. You are doing your absolute best. Things are gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be fine. And this phase, even any kind of a struggle phase, it will pass because you know what? I believe that you've got this. And I just want that to be basically the message for you guys today. I don't know what Trissa is laughing about. Okay. Love you. 
<laughs> so um, the first thing is we've got the Card Maker Success Summit coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, we also have two more classes coming up. Yes, I'm upping it to two classes for the month of March. One is going to be another one in this hot foil car craft along card class series that I'm doing over on my website. So that one's going to be on the 25th of March. And the other one is going to be a creative, um, creative die cutting. You guys know how much I love die cutting and how I've gotten I think I've gotten a little bit good at it. I do a lot of die cutting, so I'm going to do another class on that. And that one's going to be on the 11th. So you can go ahead and sign up for that. Um, I don't know that I've got a coupon code yet, but I am going to make sure I put one in. Oh, coupon code. For classes. So that means that if you register between now and the end of the week, which is going to be, I'm going to say Sunday, let's say Sunday at midnight, um, I'll give you like 10% off. Um, it's either going to be 5 or 10% off. Anyway, you're going to get a discount if you decide to sign up with that. At you, Oh, you're laughing at me and you're going to forget, so you're writing it down. Yes! Anybody else have that problem? My problem, is, another problem I have is I write down lists and then I don't look at them. I write down a grocery list every time, okay? But the way I shop is like, I don't necessarily go by the list. I go around the grocery store and pick up the things that I know that I want, right? Like um, mushrooms and salad stuff, none of that ever goes on the list. But I tend to go over into produce and check it out and see, do I want to get any of this stuff? Um, there's some things that I know I'm going to want to eat and sometimes I don't actually eat them before they go bad, like lettuce and mushrooms and sometimes I do. I am working on getting more vegetables into my diet. My husband, on the other hand, he has no interest in that. So what I wind up doing is asking him, what does he want to go on the list? <laughs> this week it was sodas and chocolate. He wants chocolate for Valentine's Day. Needless to say, we're not going to be doing a Valentine's Day. We're not going to be doing a live stream tomorrow night. I'm probably going to go live earlier in the day, but it may be here. It may be on Twitch. It may be on both. So keep an eye on Discord. Um, that's also where I'm going to be posting the coupon code for the classes if you want to get in on that by the end of the week. This is kind of a... a, a basically, you can, you can get in... Words are hard. <laughs> I, start, I start talking and then I get a million things in my brain trying to talk at once, which is another reason I need to start taking notes better. Anyway, it will be a early, you know, early registration, early bird kind of a thing for um, getting in on those classes at a discount. So Trissa says, well, I forget about my list. Once I write it down, it's gone. Yeah, I forget my list. I do know that a lot of times it helps me to remember things if I have written it down previously. So if I do write it down, and that's the physical, that's not sometimes typing it in, it helps, doesn't always. Usually if I write it down with a pen, it helps more. So if I write myself a little list, even if I forget to take the list with me, I usually remember most, yeah, most of the stuff on there. So we've got the Cardmaker Success Summit, the classes. We're not doing the live stream tomorrow night. Um, on Wednesday, though, Wednesday night, we do have another live stream for Not Too Shabby. So I'm going to be over on their Facebook group page, just like last month. And I'm going to be doing a restream of it over here onto YouTube so you can watch on both. I would absolutely love it if you would... I have three screens, I have multiple tabs open, I probably got at least 30 tabs open right now. So, so um, I would love it if you would open, basically open up the live on both of them, mute one of the screens, that is totally fine. But that way it gives Facebook and gives Not Too Shabby Shop's website, their, I'm sorry, their page, more kudos because more people are popping into their live and lets YouTube, um, lets Facebook know that people like that. And then you popping in over here on mine does the same thing for the YouTube algor algorithm. So I'd love for you to be able to pop into both, even if you're just lurking in one. I do have a tendency to do that at times. Um, sometimes I've got got two computers. I got my main PC and then I've got my laptop. And sometimes I wind up having 
someone's live on my PC in here. And then when I'm in there having dinner, I've got it up on my computer in there. And even though I'm not able to really pay as much attention because that is our dinner time and our show time and that sort of thing. So Todd gets irritated if I'm not sitting in there with him with the TV on and watching a, a, a movie or <laughs> we have a tendency to, we watch, we binge different series on Netflix. Like we just started the newest Jack, um, Jack Ryan last night after finishing like two other things within the last week or so. Okay, so Donna says it's like a wonderful it's a wonderful life. The guy with the string on his finger to remind him, but he forgets what the string was supposed to remind him. <laughs> yeah, I, a, a string wouldn't work. That's why. Yeah, a note. So I am planning on going um, for a walk this morning. So I've already got some warmer clothes to walk outside in. And so I'll get a little bit of exercise in. I plan on adding some exercise back into my routine, which last week I was, I was trying to get too many things done in too little of time, because even though I thought I didn't have anything for last week, it's like, oh, I forgot this is due and this is due and this is due. So I had to get everything finished up again last week, plus get the prep for the class. Plus we were doing the Extra Life um, Marathon on Saturday, which I had fun, but there really wasn't, wasn't many people that showed up to um, that stream over on Twitch, probably because my, a lot of the folks that watch my channel over there are also watching Jack's Box Chicks or Small Town Dreams, and they are the main movers in that area. Um, also, um, it was a game that I hadn't really played before and I had a boat and I had somebody on the boat that I didn't know. <laughs> was that what I was? Yeah. Um, no, I take that back. I was trying to do the boat by myself. No, no, that more in the morning when I was doing it, I did have someone on the boat that at one point, I think he started talking French, um, to somebody in where he was. So he spoke English, but he spoke French, but it wasn't where he was communicating with me much. And I wasn't communicating with him because I don't really know how it works. And it was really weird. It's like the game actually puts the other people, no matter where they're playing from in your ears, instead of you having to set something up for it. But it wasn't like playing with my friends where I know them. So it wasn't as entertaining, but I did get some funny clips over on Jax's thing. Um, some, oh, sometimes what's funny with the games is just some of the humor that you're able to find. I love having a lot of humor and I don't really convey that as much. And when I'm doing a tutorial, teaching you guys how to make something, a lot of that funny stuff doesn't happen. So kind of another thing to, again, um, take care of you is to find something that makes you laugh. And I have definitely found some of that and I'm planning on adding some more of that bit in. Now, crafting and creating is a stress relieving outlet until you make it into a job, I guess. So I still really enjoy it. I'm not gonna stop doing any of that, but I am gonna slow down a little bit and try to do some of the other things and try to not let myself overdo, yeah, and not let myself stress on it, if that makes any kind of sense. So um, you guys know that I love you and I think the live streams are one of my favorite things to do, getting to just hang out with you guys and have fun and everybody ragging on everybody else about everything they're doing because we are kind of nuts here. <laughs> And um, anyway, that's kind of what I wanted to say. I wanted to let you guys know how awesome that you all are, each and every one of you. I don't know if you needed to hear. I'm sure that there was some reason that this popped into my head this morning when I woke up that I needed to talk about, you know, that sometimes things do get hard, but you got this. And it's just like when we make a mistake with paper, we can always start over. It's just paper. In life in general, if you make a mistake on something, most of the time it's not life and death. Again, I don't think I know any of you guys that are actually rocket scientists or surgeons, because those are two things that if you make a mistake, people's lives are on the rabbit trail alert. I wish I dollar store is delivered. Actually they do, but you have to buy in bulk and I do have an affiliate link and I have had stuff delivered. Um, I think in, in order to avoid shipping, I had it delivered to my local Dollar Tree. And then I went to pick it up there. But I've had, I've had metal tumblers um, sitting on a shelf for about like two or three years because I was going to do more resin crafting and I haven't done it because it's like I got all into the videoing everything. And it's like, how do I set up the cameras in here? 
because it's all in my dining room because that's the only place I'll have space for it. And then you have to let everything dry, meaning you can't use the space after you start. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Ellen. So Ellen um, and Farika is in the house as well. So thank you for dropping in, guys. But anyway, you guys, I just basically wanted to let you know how much you mean to me. I'll let you know kind of a little bit about what's going on this week and that you may see some changes on my channel because I am going to start doing a little better job of creating that little bit of a balance. Okay. I mean, it doesn't mean when you, when I'm talking about creating a balance, it doesn't mean everything has to be equal because some things have got I guess a greater weight assigned to them. So, but I do need to start adding a little bit of me time and taking care of myself and relaxing and that kind of thing. I do need to step away a little bit from the computer screen <laughs> um, for all of the work behind the scenes, meaning doing the editing. And the editing is probably my least favorite. I'm not bad at it. I'm actually getting better at it. And it's just, and it's getting faster. But sometimes, Sometimes it just takes forever to get it done. And I want to make sure that I'm doing the best quality I can for each of you. So that means if I'm going to do the same or better quality, I need to do a little less quantity. That makes kind of sense. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Remember, if I can make it, you can too. And you have got this. I don't know if you needed to hear it today, but you guys mean the world to me. And no matter what you're going through, it will get better. I promise you. Just stick with it and... Take care of you and it will all get better in time. Time does, it does heal. It doesn't heal completely all the time, but it does heal and does help. And you've got a bunch of friends here um, with me and the rest of our community and love having you here. And you guys have a wonderful day. I will talk to you later. Bye guys.